What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again playing some more Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet for the Nintendo Switch. In today's video, we are showcasing the brand new Pokemon just released in the Teal Mass DLC. We are using a Okie Dogie team. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. But before we get started with today's team preview, I want to give a huge shout out to the team creator, Cryptic Lore. Thank you so much for sending this team in my YouTube comments. If you guys want to send me regulation E-teams with brand new Pokemon or returning Pokemon, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below or do me one better, DM me over on Twitter. Link is down in the description below. But okie doke, brand new Pokemon, and that's going to be our first Pokemon we talk about in today's team preview. It is a poison and fighting type, and it is rocking the grass terror type. It has Guard Dog as its ability, which is a brand new ability, and I will explain what it actually does so with guard dog if this pokemon is intimidated its attack stat will actually be boosted instead of decrease and on top of that no moves can make this pokemon switch out or item so it's actually really cool somebody can't hand us the eject button make a swap out they can't roar on us and make a swap out again it's really really dope and i think it's a solid cool new ability this Pokemon is also rocking the Assault Vest as item, and then a great move set of Poison Jab for Stab, Ice Punch, and Knock Off for Coverage, and then last but not least, we are rocking Dream Punch for Stab and HP Recovery. Bonatus is going to be our second Pokemon with Prankster and the Mental Herb, Protect, Tailwind, Taunt, and Bleak Windstorm, nothing you guys haven't seen before. In our third slot, we got the brand new upgraded Rillaboom with Grassy Surge and the Miracle Seed, and it's now learning Grassy Glide yet again. Fake out, high horsepower, and protect is its other three moves, but this Pokemon is definitely going to be a threat when it's allowed on the rank ladder. It's already strong enough, give it grassy guide, it makes it 10 times better. It's a first turn priority stab move in the grassy terrain. It's just top tier. It legit is top tier. We got Heatran in our fourth slot. Heatran is just a solid Pokemon all around with Flash Fire and Light Bulb as item. It's got Protect, Heat Wave, Flash Cannon, and Terror Blast with that Grass Terror type. First slot is going to be Shen Pao. Shen Pao actually pairs up perfectly with Okie Dogie, so you're going to be seeing that combo in today's video. And the Shen Pao is pretty straight up normal with Swords of Ruin, Focus Ash, and then move set straightforward, Protect Sacred Sword, Ice Spinner, and Sucker Punch. In our final slot, we got the one and only Landorus with Intimidate and the Choice Scarf as its item. We got the Flying Terror type with Terror Blast, Stomping Cantrum, Rock Slide, and U Turn. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on that double ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Okie Dogie double seam. We're loading into our first match for today's video, and I'm super excited to be using Okie Dogie. Just such a cool Pokemon. You got the poison and fighting type. Gotta watch out for psychic moves, but there's not a lot of Pokemon that really are rocking out with psychic moves on the rank ladder at this moment. But again, super excited to be using this Pokemon, pairing up with Shen Pao today. And I'll probably try to lead it depending on who we're going up against. So we'll see. We'll see right here. And we're going up against, I forget that thing's name. Is it Ojapon or something like that? Oh, but they also have Infernape with school. Infernape could fake out. Could definitely fake out. But I heard that Pokemon with the, with the mask, the teal mask Pokemon, is actually very, very strong. I think it's called Ojapon. O-G-E-R-P-O-N. Ojapon? Is that how you pronounce it? I'm not too sure. Everything's new. Everything's new. Give me a break. But from here, I could lead a nice little Tailwind setter if I want to. And try to grant some speed, which I think I'm going to do. That's exactly what I'm going to do. And on top of that, I think I am going to lead Heatran. I think Heatran could be pretty solid up against a lot of different groups on here. I like it. I like it a lot. So I'm going to go there. I'm going to go with Okie Dokie. And then in the last slot, Shen Pao. Where do I go Robin? Robin's solid now. Robin's just such a solid Pokemon. Hmm. No, we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do what I want to do. Could go with Choice Scarf Lando. Hmm. No, I like where we're at. Let's lock it in. Let's lock it down. Let's look to grab ourselves a win here in match number one. But Infernape. I want the show keeps Infernape. I was going to do that first. But uh, ended up wanting to go Ludicolo and Politoed and then going over to Okie Dogie. And I do have uh, Empoleon on team. I got Konamo. Oh, you guys want to send me teams, like I said, get them to me as soon as possible. would love to get my hands on Infernape team. Tour Terror, all that good stuff. Now here's going to come Heatran and... Tornadus. So from here, I'm thinking of just Bleak Wind Storming this turn. And then maybe just Terrestrializing and just Heat Waving. That's definitely going to be my play. That's definitely going to be my play. I'm going to go into the Grass Tower type. The lovely Grass Tower type. Heatran just thrives with Grass Tower type. It's too perfect, especially with Flash Fire, all that stuff. I really, I, I just love it. I love it. 
Not gonna terrasticize into him. I really don't want to take a close combat to the mid. He can fake me out. We know Infernape does rock fake out. But I'm hoping he would rather fake out the heat trend. And no, you don't. Son of a biscuit. You son of a biscuit. So Tailwind comes out here. The real question is, do I still pop a Bleakman Storm or do I pop a Tailwind this turn? Z Wave's gonna fly for me. We're gonna chuck up some nice damage. Doing a lovely amount of damage. And. Hmm. What is my play here? Do I want a Bleakman Storm or do I just want a Tailwind? I think we just Tailwind. I think we just get some speed and then we Heat Wave away. I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. I don't want to risk it. As much as I want to go for a Bleak Wind Storm and try to just KO this in for an eight, I feel as we have to match the Tailwind. So I'm going to match the Tailwind this turn. At the end of Tailwind, we will have an extra turn. And Air Slash going to get Cook in here, which we're able to soak, which is pretty cool. So we get the Soak and Thunder Punch going to fly out here, and I'm going to survive. We survive on four, which is lovely. And I flinch to the Air Slash? Get on out of here. Get on out of here. Let me see your speed set real quick to an honest. Are you maxed? You max on speed, kind sir? You are. That is just gorgeous. You are the fastest Tornado ever, so you should be able to outspeed and potentially just pick up a double kill. Do I hard swap out? And save this thing? I'm just gonna stick with a, with a heat wave here. So, of course, this thing's rocking mock punch. He's just gonna mock punch me. He's gonna pick up a double kill. So, I have back end Pokemon to try to clean up this mess. And this is a Pokemon that I would want in the back end. Infernape's actually looking pretty good. That's a great moveset for him. So we had Mach Punch, Thunder Punch, Fake Out, and then if I had to guess, it's gotta be Fire Punch. You have to be rocking a stat fire move, right? No shame. So that Pokemon's looking really good. So from here, we go Okie Dokie, which I like, and on top of that, Shen Pao. We gotta watch out for the air moves. Uh, cannot protect. Cannot protect Okie Dokie. I have the Salt Vest, which is still gonna help us out tremendously. And from here, I'm thinking I'm just honestly just sucker punching. I'm thinking of just sucker punching, uh. I'm thinking of just sucker punching the Tornadus. Because it seems like it's gonna attack, right? It seems like it's just gonna attack. So yeah, I'm gonna sucker punch that. I'm gonna end up withdrawing in front of me, but that's fine. I'm going into a poison jab in that slot. Let's see what he ends up going into. I'm gonna go into Thunderous. So Thunderous comes out of here. I think Air Slash is coming after me, and it's not. What are you going for? You setting up a rain dance? You're setting up a sunny day. So sunny day is gonna come out here. Sunny day gets cooking. And the confusion on why the sunny day, but that's some big damage and a poison coming out from Okie Dogie. Big time poison. So I could protect my Shen Pao and have that thing drop out next turn, but I think I just want to sucker punch the. I think I just want to sucker punch. And did our Tailwind just end? It did, so he's going to have to waste a turn with Tailwind. And in all honesty, I think I just go Ice Punch, and on top of that, I go Sucker Punch into the slot. That's our play. The sucker Punch going to come out here. If I had the guests, they're going for a Tailwind. And they're going to try to take speed, because our Tailwind's going to end after this turn. Yep, there's Tailwind. So that's exactly why I didn't Sucker Punch. So first match is coming down to the wire. But the way it's looking, the way it's looking is they have Fluttermane and Infernape in the back end. Because why else would you set up the Sunny Day? I mean, maybe for Infernape damage. But other than that, I'm not too sure. I really am not too sure. So Okie Dogie is the Assault Vest. We are Poison and Fighting type, which is solid. And there's Ojapan. Right? Am I pronouncing that right? And look at that thing. I heard that thing's actually really good. And Infernape's gonna come out here with it. Mold Breaker. So it has Mold Breaker. Um... What typing is that? I'm super effective with poison. What typing you got cooking? Fire and grass. That thing is looking awesome. So fire and grass, I am going to go for a poison jab in that slot. And in all honesty, maybe just try to rock a secret sword into this thing. It's going to be my play. So he's going to be able to fake out one of my Pokemon. And he's probably going to try to slice the Ojapan. I might even, I might, I might be having this whole Pokemon name wrong, but... That's where we stress lies, and that just what? I don't really know what this does. I don't really know what that does. Embody aspect. The heat flame. What just happened? Mock punch getting cooking here. That thing's looking real scary. Is he still same typing? I don't know what that does. Ivy. Cordial.
He lives on one HP. Beautiful. Just what I wanted. What does that do? Come here. Let me see you. I'm trying to see. His attacks boost at one. He's straight fire typing. Yeah, I do not really know what that thing does. It's just straight fire. But, um, yeah, we're going to lose match number one. Okie dokie does pretty good, but that thing comes out there and just rips into me. So, I'm going to leave this match, run it. We'll hop into our second match try to verse some normal Pokemon. Hopping into our second match, and that first match was crazy. Did not know what that Pokemon did, but we're hopping into the second one, and we're going up against a Konamo'o team with Kyogre. I'm going to bring Rillaboom in just to try to counter Kyogre. That Pokemon could definitely be annoying, but the Pokemon that I think I should lead is going to be Shen Pao and Okie Doki. Getting in after with both of them, then bringing Rillaboom in the back end. And last but not least, I kind of like the Choice Scarf Landers, right? Choice Scarf Lando is not bad here. It's not bad. Or I could go Heatran. Heatran's also not bad. But I like the Choice Scarf on the Lando. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. We're not going to overthink this one. We're just going to lock it in. We're going to lock it down. We're going to look to grab ourselves a win here in match number two. But I really did think I was going to complete the comeback with Shen Pao Okie Doki. They were hitting hard. They were getting after it. And then that Ojapan. Again, I do not know if I'm saying that thing's name right or even close to it. I just remember seeing something like that. But that thing just came out there, put on its teal mask, and got that attack boost and went after it. So that seems to be... The main strategy with those things is just like they put on the mask of their typing to get an attack boost and then they can use like a certain move it looks like. But they end up leading Konamo'o alongside with... With Scizor. So from here I kind of want to rasslize you. Or I can just like... Actually, I think that I would rather go here. I would rather go into maybe like a terrain punch. Into you, yeah. And then on top of that just go Ice Spinner the slot. I like it. I maybe should have terrestrialized my, uh, my Shen Pal, but I do have Focus Ash, so I kind of want to save my Terror type. Because obviously, Pull Punch can come in here and just rip and do some big time damage into me. So we'll see. They're going to end up terrestrializing. If I had to guess Konamo'o coming out here, big time Terra. Yep. And what typing you got cooking? Steel Terra. A nice, lovely Steel Terra. That's a solid Terra. Solitaire, but I can still hit you with Drain Punch. It's still ripping you with Drain Punch, which is beautiful. So Bull Punch is going to fly in here. I kind of saw that coming, but like I said, I'd focus Ash, so not too worried there. And from here, Ice Finish and get cooking to about nine and a half. And you're going to go for a Clangor Soul. So you're going to get all those stabs, which. Okay, I understand. You get that attack boost, you get the defense boost. You also get the special attack boost. And do you get every stat? I think it might be every stat. That's crazy. That's wild. You lose some HP though, okay. And you got the throat spray boost as well. Okay, I, I see, I understand. Rain Punch is now gonna fly. It's gonna half HP, which is really lovely. And now from here, I'm thinking of just Rain Punching you, and then maybe just Sucker Punch. Actually, Sucker Punch might be able to KO that Pokemon. So I'm thinking of just probably just Rain Punching you. Going Sucker Punch here. Yeah, it's going to be my play. All day. Because Sucker Punch should come out here before Bullet Punch. And it does. Is that KO? Ah! Oh my lord, that hurts. Oh my lord, that hurts. What HP? Looks like I'm bringing out the robe in here. That really hurts. That really hurts. Because now you're just going to clang the scales. I'm able to soak, which is gorgeous. You do get a defense drop. And I should be able to KO you and get HP back. No, what? The 1 HP bandits over here. One HP bandits. This is wild. This is bananas. Um, okay. We're gonna go into you. Oh my god, that's ugly, man. It hurts the soul. It hurts the soul. I, I can fake out one of them for a KO. Oh my lord, that is so ugly. <laughs> it's just so ugly. That is so ugly. And I'm thinking of just faking out the, the what's it called. Dude, that's so ugly. I'm gonna go for a knockoff here. Just in case he wants to swap the scissor. I'm gonna fake out the uh, Konamo'o. One HP bandits, we're gonna start calling them. <laughs> it's wild. Big Out's gonna come out here. We're just gonna take out you. I'm not dealing with you with all your stat boost. Oh, dude, that's so ugly. That is just so ugly. And we still have Terror, and we also still have uh, our boy in the back end. Bull Punch gonna fly here. That's fine. We'll soak pretty well here. And Knock Off's gonna come out here. And the reason I use Knocked Off is just in case they want to swap to a different Pokemon. Oh my lord, one HP. Bandits! <laughs> oh, dude, that's hilarious. 
That's hilarious. So Okie Dogie and uh, Real Boom are about half HP each. We still have our choice scarf way in the back end, which I really like that we're saving. Kyogre's gonna come out here, which I can just grass guide into. That's why I have the Real Boom. And who else are you bringing in here? Real Boom over your own. Okay, so I'm not really too worried about that. Really. I can't go into a nice little poison jab into that, which is exactly what I'm gonna do. And on top of that, I'm gonna go for the grass guide. Let's try to rip up some damage into this Kyogre. They don't have Terra anymore. Maybe I should Thrasilize the Ogie Dogie, but he's just gonna fake out my room. Okay, now that's a little scary. Now I'm definitely scared. And Water Spout coming out here. Can you eat that up, Real Boom? Really, Kyogre? Really, Kyogre? Dude, what the? Got Terra flying. Hmm. Hmm, what's the play here? Got a Terra flying you. We get the attack drop. We gotta go after Kyogre, right? We'll Terra, we'll go for, we'll choice into Terra Blast here. We'll go right after this thing. We gotta go after Kyogre. We gotta hope to soak up some shots, but Water Spout. Ooh, the fake, I should've, I should've knew the fake out was coming there. I should've knew. And I should've just protected my Robin. Should've let my play all day. We terrasalize, we got the choice scarf, so we're out speaking. How much damage are we doing? Are we doing more than half? We should. Beautiful. There's beautiful water spout coming out here. Still doing that much damage, which is absurd. How much damage are you doing? Wood hammer coming out here. Is there a shot that we win this? Is there a shot we win this? I'm gonna terror blast down this thing again. And we gotta hope we can eat up another roll room shot. Because if we can eat up another roll room shot, we'll win this game like that. So we get rid of the Kyogre. And all we have to do, actually, it probably has Grass God, right? Maybe it doesn't. You never know. Just for a knockoff. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That is fine. That is fine. We gotta hope this thing is not rocking first turn priority with the Grass God. It has knockoff, it has Wood Hammer. I doubt it has Grass God. They cancel battle and the Landorus with the comeback. We love it. Final match coming at you guys. And after I made a bad play up against the Kyogre, I believe I have protect on Roboom. Let me check real quick. Definitely should have, yeah, just protected Roboom and knew the fake out was coming after me. But after I made that bad play, Landorus was able to make that comeback and get after it. So, hey, we're one and one. We're hopping up against a Blood Moon Earth Luna team with Ludicolo and Politoed. They also have Okie Dogie just like us, just seeing that now, and then they're rocking out with Zapdos and Fluttermane. So I definitely want to bring in some sort of speed control. So I'm going to go Tornadus as lead. I feel like that's a solid lead. And on top of that, do I lead it with like Shen Pao? Do I lead it maybe with Heatran? Uh, probably not Heatran. Uh, do I lead it with uh, Lando? Lando's not going to be bad. I think that's going to be great for us. So I'm going to go Lando here. I'm going to go Shen Pao and Okie Dogie back in. Actually, no, we're going to lead. Hmm. Are we good with speed? No, we need speed. We need some speed. I definitely want Roll Boom. I think we might want to... Do I Lee Chen Power Ogie Dogie? I think we should lead Okie Dogie. I like it. And then we'll bring Shen Pao, Roll Boom in the back end. Because that is also now a really good combo. Going Shen Pao and having Roll Boom with the Grassy Glide. Come on, man. That's absurd. You're going to be seeing that a lot, a lot. I'm telling you guys now. Shen Pao Roll Boom is going to go crazy. Crazy on the rank ladder. Gonna go absurd, but yo, shiny Psyduck, the third and final battle. That's cool. That's cool. So we're one on one. Ursula and Zapdos are gonna come out here. Okay, um. Do we want to terrasalize the Okie Dogie here? No, I mean, we have Grass Terra. Flying moves are tough for us. I'm thinking of just going Bleak Wind Storm. I'm trying to get a speed drop. Actually, no, it's just Tailwind. No, not protect. We're just gonna tail one. And I think Oogie Dogie should just go for a drain punch into Ursaluna. It ends up withdrawing Ursaluna. Please don't be Fluttermane. Please do not be Fluttermane. It's gonna be Polytoad. Okay, so Polytoad's gonna come out here, and I think they're just gonna try to take out my Oogie Dogie. Hurricane's coming in here. Possibility. That's why I didn't wanna. That's why I didn't wanna go Grass Terra. The drain punch gonna fly here. 
Politoed's rather on the bulkier side. I do have a Soul Vest, which is nice. And a Thunder's gonna fly here. Okay, so Thunder instead of Hurricane's nice. And that takes me out. So, I don't think we're sitting in a terrible position. I could just bring out Rural Beam if I want to. But, I'm gonna do me one better, and I'm gonna go into my Shen Pao. So, Shen Pao's gonna get popping here. I can Ice Spinner down that Zapdos slot. Um, and from here... Yo, why does Politoed look like he's ready to fight? Look at his stance! The thing is hilarious. But from here, I'm just gonna go Sacred Sword... And on top of that, uh, probably just a poison jab. We'll do a bit more damage to Politoed than Drain Punch would. Or actually, I'm gonna knock it off because uh, it might have Citrus Berry, so might as well take off its item. We're so gonna see a nice, lovely Terra come out here into Zapdos. And what type of Yarrock? Uh, Steel? Straight Electric. This thing's came to play. Straight Electric coming out here. We got some speed going for a little bit. I don't see us sitting in a bad position. But we're going to Ice Spinner down. We're going to do some nice damage on the Zapdos. About half, which is gorgeous. And of course, I get Static Paralyzed. Oh, just what I want. Just what I want. Ogie Dogie's going to rock a knockoff here. I'm going to take off Citrus Berry. No, it's Damp Rock. Okay, never mind. Should have just went Poison Jab and Hurricane. Probably going to Chaos, right? We have a Soul Nest. We have a Soak. I love you, Ogie. But you, what is up with this? What? Yo. Stop. It's so painful, man. It's so painful. I got ducks on me now. I got ducks on me now. I'm all ducked up. So I got ducks going for days. I'm thinking I just go for Sucker Punch to KO the Politoed. And I go for a Drain Punch to try to try to KO the Zapdos. Shen Pao is paralyzed. Of course it is. And watch, I'm going to be all ducked up here. Yo, can you land a Strain Punch, please? Thank you. Can you KO? You do. Beautiful. So we get back some HP. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Of course I'm paralyzed that turn. It should have been an easy double KO. But again, game game wants me to struggle. Game wants me to struggle. So if I had to guess, they potentially have Ludicolo in the back end, right? You going for another Icy Wind? You are indeed. So Icy Wind's gonna fly here. And do about five and a half damage to both of us combined. But more importantly, they get the speed drop. So, Okie Dogie speeds back to normal. It should be able to outspeed Politoed. But look at Politoed's stance. Look at it. He's just, like, staring you in the face. Ready to fight. <laughs> he looks so dope. So, their own Okie Dogie comes out here. And from here... I kind of just want to Sucker Punch somebody, and it's going to be Politoed. I'm going to Sucker Punch Politoed, and... I'm also just going to go into a... Probably just a knockoff to get rid of Ogie Dogie's item. I can Ice Punch for some damage. I'm gonna go for Ice Punch. Maybe I get a Freeze or something, but he ends up protecting Ogie Dogie. Which is a little odd. I don't think there's a point. And I'm par- <laughs> Yo, come on, man! I'm paralyzed again, and I'm gonna hurt myself in confusion. This game, bro! Only I deal with this stuff, I feel like. It's only me. It's only Jeans here. It's brutal out here. So brutal. So our Tailwind's finally gone. Who do we have in the back? We have Rillaboom, which is it's not bad. It could be better. And what terror type do you have, Rillaboom? Fire, which I, I like. I like fire. Oh my lord. From here, we're going for Sucker Punch to try to take out the Politoed. And we're just going for Ice Punch for some damage and maybe a little bit of freeze chance from us. Can we get some RNG? Finally, Sucker Punch comes out here. We finish off the Politoed. Damp Rock has rain for a little bit, so they probably have Ludicolo in the back end. We need Ludicolo. Drain Punch coming in here. It's going to finish off Shen Pao. That's fine. We've kind of seen that happen. Can you snap out of confusion? Bear Man. Come on, Bear. Why? Why three turn confusion? Why three turn confusion? Thank you for landing, though. I appreciate you. Can you give me a freeze, too? No, no freeze. All right. But we get to bring out Roboom. Roboom's got high horsepower, which will be super effective on the Okie Dogie. Okie Dogie does have Poison Jab, but I am going to Thrasslash my Roboom. So we're going to throw out their final Pokemon. It is going to be Ursa Luna. Blood Moon Ursa Luna. We knew they had this Pokemon. So Blood Moon Ursa Luna comes out here. I am going to Thrasslash. Actually, I'm just going to fake out a turn, and I'm just going to fake out the Okie Dogie. I'm going to fake out you, and I'm going to go for a Dream Punch. So I should be faster than Ursa Luna. That, that Pokemon's speeds. It's basically, it's basically Ursa, Ursa Luna, but uh, special attacking. So Hyper Wish, you actually have speed. And I live on four, thank. Why am I so confused? 
Can you land this? Thank you, Okie Dogie. I love you. That's some big time damage. That's some big time damage. Oh my lord. This game's going crazy. I get back some HP. Okie Dogie gets back some HP. Ursulina. So a grassy guy should be able to take out the Ursulina. So what I'm thinking here is just Terra grassy guide into you and then you'll be just hitting you with another ice punch. Or do I potentially just go for high horsepower here? I think I just go for high horsepower. I gotta look to get off some damage on this thing. I'm gonna Terra, I'm gonna go high horsepower and I'm just gonna look to train punch you down again. Let's make something happen. I go with the terror, the fire terror, the lovely fire terror. Obviously, I could have KO'd him, but I just feel as we need to, we need to get off some big damage on the Ogie Dogie. We don't have too much to take it out, so going into higher horsepower could be a good call for me. Me being confused and all this stuff, just gotta knock it off. High horsepower coming in here, we outspeed and we pick up some nice damage. Of course, you have the berry. Of course, you're rocking the berry. I feel like everything is not going my way this battle. We'll see what he wants to do. He goes for the poise jab, so this was a great terror type for us. And a blood moon's gonna come out of here. What are you going after? You're going after my Okie Dogie. So Okie Dogie drops out here. Okie Dogie drops out here. We are gonna get some HP back. I know we outspeed that thing, but I don't think we KO. I'm gonna go for the Grass God here. I am gonna go for the Grass God here. I should KO, no problem. Yep, we're getting rid of Ursulina. And that probably should have been our play. We should have just KO'd that thing, and then it could have been a 2v1 situation. So now he's going for Drain Punch, and we survived that, but you get back too much HP, and that's pretty much game. We're gonna go 1 and 2 with Ogie Dogie today. 1 and 2. Really cool Pokemon. It kind of hurts the soul that, that, that there beat me with Ogie Dogie, but that was really only because of what's called. RNG. They got two turns of Paralyze. I lost a turn of Confusion. Did some damage to myself. Really hurt the soul. But I Horsepower is going to fly here. It's going to do about half. Okie dokie, can you miss? Nah, they're going to land that train punch all day. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. One and two for today's video. Solid matches all around. RNG really stomping on us today. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Tried showcasing Okie dokie today. And I feel like we did pretty good. We just grabbed ourselves a losing record going one and two. Okie dokie is definitely underwhelming, in my opinion. I heard all three of their forms are actually very underwhelming. They're, uh, they look cool. They, they sound cool. But everybody says on the competitive ladder, they're, they're okay. They're not anything crazy compared to other Pokemon that are coming into the ladder. But still, very cool new Pokemon. Very fun to use. Huge shout out to Cryptic Lord for actually sending me this team. Really appreciate it. If you guys got regulation E teams, make sure you guys get them to me. I would love to use it for YouTube videos. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive today. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.